One of the things that we know Bungie do very well would of course be juicy expansion trailers for Destiny. And surprisingly enough today kind of caught me off guard but we do have the launch trailer for Beyond Light. And so as always it is interesting to dive in and take a look at what they show us in the trailer. So without messing around we will check out the trailer in full and then break down some of the scenes and stuff that we see inside. As always guys I hope you do enjoy this video and if you do a rating below very much helps me out. But now let's get into it. The light and dark ready themselves for a new phase. So must we. The day we've been dreading has finally arrived. The darkness is here. We are deploying guardians to all corners of the system to find answers. I'm picking up a distress signal. Someone's in trouble. My friends, we are all in great danger. The Vanguard only recognizes the light. Someone has to do the same for the dark. Stasis is just a tool. We must use it for good. This power is a gift. One I will share with all of you. One by one, we will rise again. So there we have the trailer in full. Obviously pretty exciting stuff. We do get a little bit more dialogue and cinematic content early on in the trailer. One of the interesting things is that we're hearing Eris speak again. We see some guardians in the tower with some interesting looking armor on. And also early on in the trailer, new visuals from Europa. Pyramid ships, but of the darkness architecture right here which seems bound to be linked to some of the activity content for Beyond Light. There's also this scene with guardians kind of running through the tower hangar here, indicating this kind of state of emergency. Pretty cool we see some of those NPCs in combat as well. And then the cinematic here, Varric being scrutinized by Aramis, but also him walking through the snow. And he's got this kind of capsule, I reckon potentially with that shard of darkness. Or possibly something that he's stolen from Aramis and the other Fallen, potentially. That's just kind of the vibe I'm getting from the trailer itself. Either way, the item will be of some importance. But then there are plenty of cool shots of Aramis and the Fallen once again here, before breaking into a bunch of new Europa shots. So immediately we have this cool Vex architecture, somewhat similar to what we've seen with the Pyramidian, and the Guardians heading down underground on some new sparrows right there. And much like the Pyramidian, it appears that this space could continue underground, and we've got these enormous Vex structures once again, almost with the effect of being beneath the ice, literally if you look at the kind of ceiling, I guess. It's almost like you're under an ocean in Europa. Really cool architecture, but dominated by fallen technology and stuff. And then once again, that kind of darkness architecture underground, with these huge darkness splinters, which I suppose we'll find a better name for, or the actual name for. <laughs> As always though, we get a bunch of juicy stasis and combat gameplay. We see a couple of the exotics popping off inside of there as well. And then some of Aramis's lieutenants looking pretty scary in combat too. Obviously we are looking at combat mechanics or potential activity content right here in these spaces. Got the kind of crystals floating in the sky as well as the new Vex enemies that are kind of like goblins or minotaurs with a sort of harpy gorgon thing on their upper half. And as we've seen, they can both fly, but also apparently walk around. So there are a few interesting things happening with enemies as well. There is also a scene right here where we get a couple of frames showing what looks like an Exo's eye. Could potentially be a very minor tease to a new character. Some folks are speculating about potential involvement of Clovis Bray somehow directly in this expansion, which is a pretty interesting concept, but I suppose we'll wait and see. 
We get some juicy shots with new exotic armor and weapons here, and a bunch of spaces in the Deepstone Crypt, and once again, a bunch of Aramis's lieutenants, and even more very combat-focused spaces. This one looks particularly interesting right here, you can kind of see it from above. And then with a couple of the Cosmodrome shots here, initially one overground, and another underground, where you can see, I believe, the last array, if you remember that from the Cosmodrome story in D1, up above in the background, but actually from other scenes that we've seen around here, there is a Lost Sector chest in the middle of the space, so this looks to be the new Cosmodrome Lost Sector. And so for the moment we don't get kind of crazy crazy new reveals for exotics or anything like that, but it's safe to say there's some pretty cool stuff to get a look at, and of course that general hype for the launch of Beyond Light coming up very soon. I've no doubt Bungie will have more info for us, even later today. We should be getting additional details about economy and things like that in the TWAB, and so be sure to stay tuned for all of that. For now though guys, that pretty much rounds up everything that we saw inside of the trailer today. As always, drop us any of your thoughts down in the comments section, but if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to get subscribed and turn on notifications. I'll be dropping a lot of Beyond Light content when it launches, but of course all of the news and that good stuff leading up over the next couple of weeks. For now though guys, whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.